Hey, what's up? Welcome back to another salon work video. So if y'all want to see this beautiful transformation, just go ahead and stay tuned. So today we're using Alley Pearl hair and we've used this a few times and we absolutely love it. So here I'm just unboxing all of the hair about to show you guys how it looks and it also comes with lashes. They always send you some cute little lashes or whatever. So up close here is the frontal and the frontal just look at it. Honestly the frontal did not need that much work at all like it already looks really good. Here is the hair before it's co-washed and here's how thick the bundles look and everything. So we have 18, 20, and 22 inch with the 18 inch frontal. And this is the Brazilian natural wave hair, which is so pretty. So shout out again to Ellie Pearl for this bomb hair. And here's how it looks after it's co-wash. I am just so in love with this wave pattern. Before we begin, here are just a few things you're going to need for this quick weave. Of course, the glue, a spandex cap, and your wig caps. You want to get one to match your skin color. So jumping into this quick weave, of course you want to have your hair braided down or back into a ponytail, basically just flat so you can have a smooth foundation. And first I'm applying a plastic cap to protect her hair and then I'm going to put that spandex cap right on top of it. This will be like our foundation. And here's just a quick tip to keep that spandex cap in place because the plastic does make it like a little slippery so just adding some bobby pins holds that thing in place. So well, here is the before of how it looks just wet and it's like already flawless as you can see but I did do a little bit of plucking and here's how it looks after like oh so pretty if y'all want a detailed tutorial on how to do some really simple 10 minute plucking it's super simple just let me know comment below and I'll definitely do that separate. So you always want to start with your frontal or your closure or whatever. So I'm just applying that glue to like the brim of the frontal. Then you'll see me blow dry it to make it tacky. And then you just want to go ahead and put the frontal on. You want to make sure it's a little past the um, front of the stocking cap or spandex cap, whatever. And this will make sure you have a good fit for the wig and it's not too small. And then you just want to blow dry that back down. Now you want to make sure the back part is flat and flush if you got that extra little flap that's cool you're just gonna end up cutting that off anyway so just keep going so next for the quick weave is really simple <laughs> you just measure the track glue it blow dry it put it on there blow dry it again just like that bam girl keep on going up <laughs> and yeah that's it <music> So once you get here, you might be wondering what to do with this big old flap at the top of this head. So you can just glue it right on down. So yeah, just glue it, blow dry it, fold that flap on down and keep going. So you want to make sure as you're going up, your track start going in more of a horseshoe motion. So that track, that last track can line up parallel to the frontal and this will close everything in. y'all so this wig is just about finished i love removable quick weaves because you just get a really easy quick wig so here i'm just taking out those bobby pins that y'all saw me put in earlier um yeah they slide right out boom boom bam and this wig slides right off then you just want to snatch off that plastic cap as you can see it like slides right off don't leave no mess no plastic behind and bam there is your wig like yes so here I'm just flipping that wig inside out and cutting off that black cap that's um, underneath where the lace is. And y'all, this is my first time ever doing a lace frontal removable quick weave. So I was a little nervous as to if that frontal would hold up with just that glue. But yes, it stayed. everything stayed intact um, after I cut off that black part and everything just was nice and sturdy. So I was really surprised and shocked. And yeah, there you have it. Lace frontal 
removable quick weave yes so y'all know i'm all for hair care so i make sure to um oil her scalp through her braids and everything because wigs are definitely a protective style so you want to make sure you treat your hair nice underneath it so i'm not doing any kind of fancy install on this i'm just putting on her um wig cap i'm gonna slide it back just a little bit so you can't see that line of demarcation and then i'm just putting that wig on to make sure it fits and everything and i'm gonna cut that lace off to fit it to her hairline and stuff like that the wig was a little bit small to me i would have liked to have a little bit more room so this is why i'm gonna stress like once you put in that front tool on that spandex cap that you give yourself like a little over an inch of room or maybe even two inches just so you have enough room so yeah i'm just cutting off the lace here like i said cutting it to like shape her hairline and everything so here's another point i really want to stress is to make sure you're cutting around them ears because girl oh my goodness as a wig wearer myself i can tell you this is like the most annoying thing about a wig is if you have that extra lace by your ears it just itches and it just drives you crazy and you just can't wait to take that wig off so making sure that that ear is like totally carved out that you don't have the extra lace on there is super super important to have a comfortable wig so with a frontal wig you do want to make sure you add like some extra protection so that wig can stay on nice and tight so i'm doing an elastic band and basically i just measure ear to ear i get that number and i go down four inches and this is the elastic i'm using i found this roll on amazon i will link it down below so you just measure up that elastic to that number that you got that's four inches down from the original number cut it and sew it on and then i'm also using these combs found these on amazon as well and i just sewed that um one comb to the back and this is what i came up with this is how it's looking i just feel like an elastic band and a comb is a must-have for a frontal wig just so you know that wig don't come flying off and that frontal can lay nice and flat so to apply her wig, I'm using the Got To Be Glued Gel in the black bottle. And people always want to know how long this method lasts, how long can your wig stay on. Normally for me, it only stays on about two to three days. Some people like to take their wigs off every single night, so they'll just take the gel off put it back on in the morning so it's really just of preference but I would just say personally for me the maximum amount of days I've been able to get my wig to stick on with this gel has been like three days max so I'm just blow drying that gel to get it a little sticky and then I'm just gonna put that wig on bam and here I'm just gonna pull out that hair that I wanna create my baby hairs with. And then we are gonna melt this lace in. So I'm putting a wrap strip around her hairline. I'm gonna stick her under this devil, the dryer, <laughs> and let her melt for a good 15 minutes. And then we'll come back and do the baby hairs. So styling this hair is super easy. All you need is a spray bottle, maybe a little conditioner or some mousse and you're good to go. So yeah, I just added a little mousse to her edges and to this hair and bam, that is it. This hair, oh my goodness, just look at it. So freaking pretty. She absolutely loved it. I loved it. We always love Ali Pearl every time they send us some hair. So shout out to Ali Pearl once again for sending us this beautiful hair. Make sure y'all check that description box for all the information. Links and everything will be down below. So this is her final look. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Thank y'all so much for watching and I will be back with another one really soon.